Paul Fian is my name. I'm a surf artist from Tremor in County Waterford. I started painting surfboards back in 2006 for friends and then I kind of escalated from that. At the minute I'm painting boards for two of the top Irish girls in the surfing. Most of my work was on surfboards or canvases until a mate of mine asked me to do a bonnet of his transporter for him. And it's just blossomed from there really. Uh, the majority of the materials I used would be Posca markers. I uh, started using spray cans last year and airbrushing as well. Uh, airbrushing is a bit more difficult when you're starting to get into that. The last couple of years has been commission based. Um, previous to that, it was just friends asking me to do doodling stuff on their surfboards or you know if they wanted something for their room or something like that. I just do it for them. But the last couple of years has been commission based. Um, a philo art on Instagram or Paul Phelan Designs on Facebook you can get in contact with me through that my uncle was an artist so I just kind of picked it up off of him I went away for, for a long time and then as I said when my friends started asking me to do stuff I kind of started back up from there again and he just hasn't stopped I work out of my studio in my back garden or inside when my partner leaves me Bigger stuff I tend to do out here, smaller stuff I'll do inside. If it's really big I'll do it out in the garden, weather permitting, but the majority of the time I'm just stuck in here. And last year I started, I did a mural out in Tiggs uh, Surf School in Bunman. And I got another job out of that in the pub across the road. And I've done one from McCarthy's Builders this year and Jar's Bar in Waterford. Wanted one done. So they're finished. And I have another one to do for a tree surgeon that I paint helmets for. Down in Tallow. He wants one done in his, he's a big um, garage that he has all his bits and pieces in. But he wants a big mad mural done on the wall. I kind of, I was liked, I liked Drew Barofi stuff. He's an American artist. He, he used paint surfboards for a company called Lost in the States. I think at one stage he was painting 150 surfboards a day to make money out of it. But he's he's well established now. Um, there's another guy, uh, Randall. He was paying for Lost as well, but I think he I think he actually passed away a couple of years ago. Um, Rick Griffiths, he would have been the kind of the sixties retro mad kind of airbrushing and stuff like that and surfboards. He would have been the first guy really doing it commercially. And, just kind of trying to fight, you know, over Facebook and stuff now, just kind of coming across people that doing it and just started following them and stuff as well now. Mm -hmm. um, I have a group on Facebook, American Girls set it up, uh, surfboards and beach scenes or something it's called. We kind of all kind of bounce off each other in that way as well. Mm -hmm. um, I try to get stuff over to the States, but then when I looked into it, it was just too freaking complicated. She, the girl that actually runs the page now, she set up um, an, an art gallery out of her own funding. And she, anybody that's on the group, she takes over their stuff and sells it and takes a small commission out of it. But as I said, it was just way too hard to get stuff to America. We did a, a day with Paul Smith at a Glide down in Mallow. He came up and he set up a shape in Bay Inn in T-Bay. And he showed everybody how it was went about getting the shape on the board and the whole lot. He gave myself and Rory Thompson, he gave us three boards to paint for. So we set up our little area and we painted the boards for him. And he brought them back, he has them hanging down in his shaping bay down in Mallow. Uh, there's a couple of guys that, that, that follow me on Instagram, they're up the west coast and stuff, uh, Coded. Uh, what's the other guy? Bush, I think he's called, he's up in the north. Northwest. He's a Portuguese shaper. Um, but trying to collaborate with him. See, there's, there's most of the shapers can do their own artwork. Or they, you know, they they all know how to do resin tinting and all that kind of stuff. So you know, they make more money doing the resin tinting than they would getting somebody into, yeah. to, you know, to paint the board. Like, I'd say if I was to go up, I'd. He nearly wanted to guarantee me 15 or 16 boards for me to make it work me while. Because like if I wanted a custom spray job on a board, it'd probably cost you 30 euro off the shaper. 
I do a full a full deck for bore, so it'll be the nose to the tail for 180 finished. That's any design you want, colour. It doesn't matter if it's grey, black, white, multicoloured. You're looking at 180. That's clear coated as well. Um, airbrushed are a little bit more expensive. Airbrushed you'd be looking at probably 240, 230. But if it was if it was hanging on a wall, you're looking more around three to five hundred euro for a wall commission one. I did runners for Rachel for my partner for all together now, thinking that the sun was going to split the stones, but it it, it turned into a quadmire and the the runners ended up in the bean. Um, no, I did I do skateboards as well as skateboard decks for I just finished two there a few weeks ago for a mate of mine. And uh, I did a Yamaha acoustic guitar for another friend there during the lockdown. He wanted Stone Roses and Oasis themed. So I did that for him. The two skateboards I did for the, my mates, two kids, they wanted skulls and skull uh, skeletons getting sick, uh, green slime and all that kind of. So it was interesting. Because usually their mother would be like, no, don't do it. <laughs> Yeah, no, I was supposed to do uh, workshops in Oceanic Surf School a couple of years ago, but it, it fell through in the end. Um, I wouldn't mind doing workshops. It could it'd be interesting, because I've never actually done one properly. Like, yeah. You know, I yeah. might have had a couple of people standing around me when I was painting a surfboard or something, but yeah. actually to go through the whole stage, the process of doing it, yeah. and showing other people how to do it, it would be very interesting.